There. There's a fish. Don't know what I got. I got something. It's a lizard fish. These guys are super weird looking. So there's a lizard fish. They're a tiny little fish, but boy, they look really crazy with those teeth. There you go. They're really soft mouths, so they come off easy. I'm just getting pounded by little fish. Yeah, I got something hooked up. It's tiny though. It's another lizard fish. Boy, those guys are common down there, huh? I'm gonna do one poke inside and then come back out, maybe do some trolling along this uh, bank here. I'm gonna troll along this for a while. It's slack tide right now, so not a lot of water movement, which generally makes jigging pretty tough. Well, I'm definitely not finding anything on the troll. Nothing down here. The bottom is pretty featureless, too. Not getting hit on the troll here. Oh, there's fish. Oh, yeah. That was a good hit. Feels heavier. Let's see what it is. I'm curious. Had to use a snap weight. Oh, dude, don't know. Okay. Got the weight off. Let's see what we got here. That's out over 35 feet of water. It's a big spotty monster too. Look at this thing. It's a dick. That's a big spotty. Yeah, I'll take that. Look at that. That's a fatty. It's probably 13. Check it out. Yeah, he's 13. Look guys, I got a mask. That's one of the worst things about the pandemic, man. Is all the mask garbage. It's like, masks are everywhere. Especially parking lots, but I'm amazed at how much I see out here. Floating in the bay. Sad. I support mask wearing, but man. I don't support throwing it in the freaking water. Clean up your mess, beeps. I'll use these little snap weights that like I use for walleye back home. Just trying to get a little deeper out here. And uh, troll, because the fish are just so spread out in this deep water that I feel like this is the only way I can really get down and cover a lot of area quickly. Oh, fish. Yep. There's fish. Doesn't feel very big. Not sure what it is. I need that clip weight. There we go. Not sure what I got here. Not fighting very hard. Oh, it's a little, it's a little uh, California halibut, it's a tiny guy. Look at that guy, he's a dink. Dinky butt. Where's your big sister? All right, send him back. Oop. Hey, you got both of them in there, huh? One more to go. So yeah. Okay, go ahead, go to the bottom. There you go. That seems to be working. That combination of a little bit of weight, just pushing it down there just a touch closer to the bottom. Another nice thing about using clip weights is it catches all the weeds before they go down your line towards the lure. So you can just get a bunch of crap on the weight and it doesn't really matter. Seems like two miles per hour is the Ideal speed right now. Got that fancy $16 Yozuri deep diving crankbait. We haven't caught anything on it. Like the four and five dollar bandits and clicker minnows are slaying them. Mm. 
There's a nice fish. On the bandit again. Let's see what we got. This one feels heavy. Not head shaking as much though. I don't know if that means, but there's the weight. Just gotta get that. Come on. There it goes. It's like a it's, it's board. Pulling up a board. It's like chasing, like fighting a walleye. Oh, it's a decent sized halibut. Nice. Another Halley. Here we go. It's probably about 16, 17 inch. Barely had him hooked. There we go. Pretty Halley. All right. Get the Halley release. See you. Oh, there's fish. There's a big fish here. What do we got here? I like to keep a little pressure on it when I'm taking this weight off so that it doesn't release the pressure. Head thumping a lot. The big spotty. Monster spotty. All right. That thing's huge. That is a tank spotty. Look at that thing, guys. That's a huge one. That's 14 inch spotty. Oop, there's fish. Nice. Another big one. Jeez. It's so loud here with so many helicopters and planes. Barely hear anything. Jeez, his head shaking like crazy. I think it's gonna be another big spotty. So then what I do is I just bring this weight in like this. Snag that weight, keep the forward momentum going. There we go. Pick up the slack. There we go. It's fighting a lot like that last fish did. A lot of head shakes. Wow. Bulldogging. Oh, it's a huge sparred sand bass. Huge one. <laughs> the huge Bart sand bass. Oh, dang, this is awesome. Look at that one, guys. That's a huge Bart sand bass. Yes. It's so easy to fall through. Okay. You know? I, Anyways, I'm just trying to get that in there. That was a sweet barred sand bass. I think it was a tank. Shouldn't even deploy the other one. I never catch garbage on it. These snap weights are saving the day. Saving the day. Why don't people troll here? Everybody just drags around live bait at like a quarter mile, half mile per hour. Boring. Troll at two and a half, three miles per hour. Cover ground. Kill fish. There we go. We are in the money zone again. Oh, there's fish. Another fish. Yeah. Got another one on. Oh my gosh, it's slaying them out here. Just slaying them. You don't even need two rods. Destroying them on this bandit. What do we got? Right here comes the weight, so need to move forward a little bit. Come on, come here. Got it. Put that right there. So spotted. Spotted sand bass. A nice one. Woo Come here, buddy. Ah, these guys are crazy. Pretty fish. 
There we go, another spotty. Woo. See you, bud. Oh, there's a bite. Thought I hit bottom. There's actually fish come up and grabbed it. There it is. Oh, man. There's so many fish right there. <laughs> this thing's another big one. <laughs> that is the spot right there, dude. They are stacked in there. Feels huge. Like that other barred sand bass. I wonder if it's another barred sand bass. <laughs> Man, they had them. What do I get? You never know here. Whoa. Taking line. Man. You gotta keep a soft drag with those trebles. They can rip those crankbaits out. I'm getting some color. Oh, there it goes back down. I think it's another big barred sand bass. I'm not certain. Yep. It's another big barred sand bass. Yes. <laughs> Check that out. Another nice barred sand bass. They're stacked right there. Oh, there's fish. <laughs> yeah. It's a big halibut. It's a nice halibut. Check that out. Probably 17 or 18. Not too bad. That's cool. We're going to get it. There he goes. See ya. All right, guys, that was an amazing, amazing day. It started off really slow. Tried around 40 feet deep, just kept getting all those lizard fish. Then uh, went back to the troll, man. I just got a lot of confidence in it and uh, started trolling deep with those clip, those snap weights and got into a school of sand bass, a couple big keepers, tons of spotted bay bass. And I got three halibut today, including my personal best, which was probably around 17, 18. So not a bad day. A lot of people would say when in Rome do as the Romans do, but man, just using my tactics from home for spiny ray fish is just killing it here in San Diego. So, all right, see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.